Today's question, what is the best filament to use on your Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer? So I'm guessing you're somewhat new to 3D printing and that's totally okay. Welcome to this amazing and addictive hobby. Your world just changed because this is so amazing, isn't it guys? Okay, so let's stay on point here. You're looking for the best types of filament for your new Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer. So to be honest with you, this is somewhat of a difficult question to answer. It's almost like asking you what kind of car should you buy? But let's more or less talk about the variables in filaments that you maybe want to look out for when buying. So the first metric a lot of people look at when buying filament is where does it come from? A lot of these filament companies have been known to kind of like rebrand the same type of filaments and the quality is kind of just like a big question mark. So ask yourself, are you interested in buying 3D filament that is made here in the US or are you kind of just like, eh, it's from China, you know, everything's made in China. I totally get it. But that's a metric that a lot of people think about, which leads me to the second metric, which is quality. So it's sort of a given or thought of that things made over in China aren't as high quality as they are here in the US. One of the biggest metrics in quality when it comes to filament is the diameter that is carried out throughout the filament. And what I mean by that is the thickness of your filament. You know, it's uh, the P1S is 1.75 millimeters. And what happens is if it doesn't keep Keep that variance we get different thicknesses on that filament and that's what affects your prints so this is one of the biggest metrics that's most important when 3d printing on your bamboo lab p1s so when you're buying higher quality brands you're actually mainly buying products of higher quality and kept to that variance of the size diameter of the filament hopefully that makes sense essentially it's like everything in this world you get what you pay for and you're gonna have a qu higher quality product when you spend a little bit more more money but don't get me wrong man the forums and online threads and a lot of my friends are printing the cheapest filament they can find and they're having tons of success so you might be asking yourself well where do I stand personally I think it kind of boils down to what I'm printing right if I'm printing something that's low quality you know maybe it's for a four-year-old and it's an articulated dragon or like a little fidget toy and something you know something that's lower quality then I'm going to use a cheaper quality filament but if I'm printing a bracket or something for a customer I'm going to have a higher quality brand that's held higher tolerances it's higher of quality so it kind of boils down to what you're 3d printing you know if you're purely a, a, a hobbyist printer and you're just kind of printing fun stuff then chances are you can use that cheaper quality stuff and again I'll throw links to my five favorite brands of filaments sold on Amazon down below I am an Amazon affiliate it's a small commission, but that may help guide you on the top brands kind of known in this hobby. But yes, man, I'm so excited for you because chances are you're probably new to 3D printing and good props on you for getting the Bamboo Lab P1S because it is a monster of a machine and you can just turn key ready to go, just print out the door. So I'm, I'm so happy for you. Consider subscribing to the channel. I am a 3D print nerd and I love this stuff and hit me up in the comments if you guys have any further questions. Let's take it off the plate here. All right, man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. <laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. How did that break? You win.